Hey guys, I'm TV here. Welcome back to another video today. We're actually to Lucifer Season 6, Episode 2. I really enjoyed the first episode. Definitely set up where things are going to go for our characters this season. I'm going to take my main intros and outros really short because basically I have 10 videos to do with little time as possible, it seems. And yeah, I, I'm really liking where this is going. Obviously, Maeve, <laughs> like it, Maeve, Maze and Eve have gotten engaged. We have a new person sitting on the throne in hell who probably is Lucifer's daughter or sister or something like that. It'll probably be his daughter. That'll make things interesting. We have Lucifer being hesitant about going up to hell, uh, going up to heaven. Maze isn't wanting to go to hell. We've got Dan's situation being trapped in hell in his little hell loop. But his hell loop doesn't seem that bad. It's just playing table tennis. Table tennis is great fun. I quite, I, I enjoy that. But I guess we'll see. I'm I'm curious to see where everything goes this episode. As I don't know, then I promise or anything because it's all coming out once. But so anyway, let's so talking. Let's go. I mean, he does have a fair point. You can't knock. It's an elevator. Also, you just cock blocks, mate. That's not cool. That's not cool. I mean, yeah. God in therapy again. Why not? You are now. He's gone almost. True. Are they going to become a thing? I love that. Ella needs a break from all the shit she's been through the last couple of seasons. Oh, no. Not Pete. Pete flashbacks. Oh. God, no. He sucked. This definitely feels like another Dan and Lucifer situation, to say the least. But I guess we'll see how this goes. We don't really know much about this guy yet. Oh my god, this is so awkward, Jesus Christ. Oh god, bro. God damn it, Lucifer. Oh, I, lo <laughs> I lo fucking love it. Oh, hello, Lucifer. <laughs> Another musical one. Yes. <laughs> love it. He is. He's oh, so obviously into Ella. That's fair. That's fair. She's she's great. So I'd like to see that. Hopefully, hopefully it all works out well. Who knows? Ah, uh, there she is. Who is this supposed to be? Nah. I've definitely got my curiosity. Oh, that's purple. Ooh, that's a cool. Purple wings. Oh yeah. Okay. She wants to destroy those for us. Yeah. Um I guess we now know what happened to Michael. It's definitely got my I've been wondering about him. Yeah. Oh god, Lucifer, what have you done? No, he's made him into a dick. Because Ella's in a bad guy bad dudes. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> oh, fuck. You ruined it, Lucy. Okay, I'm just gonna say this now. This is really fucking weird. Like, I, I get why she's doing this, but this is a bit too far breaking to the dude's house and stalking him. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I assume Chloe's gonna use that the Menadel thing. It's gonna, she's just gonna break her own fucking house, isn't she? Yeah. Nice. Oh, fucking wrecked. Why are you doing this in the house, bro? That's just stupid. I mean, this is fun, but like, he's gonna break your house. And you're a detective, you don't need fighting lessons. Oh, shit, who's behind him? Oh, the manager. Oh. Well, a bit unnecessary. It's the manager who did it. Not expected, but... Okay. Why not? Sure, 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 sure. Cool. Lovely. That's why he did it. Huh. I see. That's fucked up, but murder! It's taking it a bit too far, bro. Hello, hello. Oh. Uh, okay, this is how it's all linked. I see, I see. Ella with this dude, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. 
Lack of trust, I say. Oh, bid slapped. Fucking yeeted. Those two are such nerds. I love it. Oh my god, they fucking destroyed Chloe's house. They're still going! Jesus Christ! I like the hair, Chloe. Yeah, she's not okay. It's obviously the heaven stuff or something like that. Because she's a bit fucked up at the moment, to say the least. Oh. What are you doing? You don't say something like that! That's so bad! Oh my god. Oh, she's in Dan's place. I see. This is weird. Oh my, that scared me, I'll be honest. Yeah. What's she gonna do with Dan? Give Dan a break, bro. No. Oh. Is that why Dan's in there? He has a guilt book. I see, I see, I see. Why does she want to kill him so bad? Hmm. Yeah, quite obviously. Dan's not that dumb. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, they're homies. Yeah, but don't think it's going to work very well. Hmm. Is it though? Dan, what are you doing? I know he want. I mean, I get why he wants to get out of hell. He's been down there for thousands of years. Fuck that shit. Oh, I'm glad they actually went on their day. That's that's nice. I hope the show just makes things go well for Ella. That would be lovely. Oh, that's usually not a good sign when it starts raining frogs. So, guys, I'm reaction to episode two of Lucifer. So, uh, it's raining frogs now, isn't that like apocalypse or like plague or famine or all that shit? That's not a good sign, but another great episode. I'm very much enjoying this season. I like that we got quite an Ella-centric episode. Usually, uh, they don't go too well, especially with Ella, especially in the realm of dating. So I'm glad it's working out for Ella because you can get her skepticism, but I think they took it a little bit too far this episode. I mean, I'm glad it worked out with her and I can't remember his name. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, whatever his name is. I'm glad I worked out with those two, but, you know, she definitely took it quite a bit too far, but, you know, then you didn't get why, because, you know, Pete was a fucking serial killer, so, yeah, uh, you can also tell something's definitely up with Chloe this episode, like, I assume she's just kind of hesitant and going to heaven and all that, like, I guess we'll see, I, I mean, she's definitely trying to distract herself or something like that, so I'm curious to see where that's going, especially when she literally destroyed her fucking house, like, as you do. I guess. I, I I don't really know that. I don't think it's going to end very well, housewise at least. I mean, yeah. Murder of the week. Always good fun. Uh, there was always... Yeah, uh, I do like <laughs> that uh, Lucifer was trying to help out people we didn't care about. I mean, it seems fair. But the stuff going on in hell, that's where my interest is peaks. Like, it's obviously going to be Lucifer's daughter or something like that. It's not going to be some random angel. And... I don't know if they can make Dan turn against Lucifer, but that angel said, like, she could just fly him up, but I don't know. Whatever's going to happen with Dan is going to be very interesting, because they're not going to make Dan a villain. Like, they've already done that in season one. So wherever they're going to go with that, I'm very curious and just see how they're going to do it, because, like, Dan does his friend Lucifer, so he's not going to betray Lucifer, but he has been stuck in there for a very long time, so very... Interested to see where that's going to go in the future. And just who this angel really is and why she hates Lucifer so much. If she is his daughter or his sister or something like that. I assume the assumption is his daughter. And if when she's revealed to that, no one's going to be surprised. But what do you guys think of this episode? Please leave all your pieces down in the comments below. That's all we have to say. But as in that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.